hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel guys you guys are highly welcome in this video i'm going to show you guys how you can actually rent a frontal this is a text sorry it's a 10 by 5 frontal so all my returning subscribers thank you guys so much if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please consider doing that okay the process i'm going to show you guys now is equally applicable when you want to vent a 13 by 4 or a 13, or a 13 by 6 no matter the size of the frontal so this is the customized frontal we are going to use if you don't know how i did customize this from scratch please check my videos okay we when we've customized this particular frontal i told you guys i'm equally going to show you guys how you can vent it and this is the video so after securing the frontal on my mannequin head then this is the braiding head I will be using color 33 and I did color so it cut in 6 like I cut it into 6 okay so I have to comb it after that then I will pick a little amount of braiding head I will need and this is how you hold it when you want to vent so now it's important to leave a little space around the legs, especially when you do no food and so the legs. So just leave a small um, space around it for sewing. I mean, when you want to attach it to your wig cap, you can easily do that. So I'm just I'll go ahead and start with a vertical line. Okay, from there, then I will go horizontally. What I'm trying to do here is to create a guide. It's not a must that you must start from the center. You can still decide to start from the edge, but endeavor to create a guide first. Okay, so you can choose to do this, you can still start from front. I mean, your hairline, so whichever way. So I'm, I'm venting on a particle on a hole in a line, then I'll skip the next line just like that. The spacing method I'll be using for this front tile is the one line two holes. I mean, we'll be skipping a line, and then in terms of the holes, we'll skip two holes. So I vent on a line, then I skip a line and vent on the next one, and I'm picking two strands of hair, not more than two. This guide that I'm trying to create is actually what will help us to vent this, okay? Some person don't actually know how to count the holes. This is how to cancel lines. Then for the holes, each place you attach your pin is a hole, okay? The place you put your pin and bring it out from the next one is a hole. Each place you attach your pin is a hole. That's how to count the holes, okay? so i'll just be i'll vent on a line then i'll skip a line just like that so in this video i'm going to show you guys everything from start to finish i will show you guys how you can vent the hairline the customized hairline we did so if you don't know how to customize your own front uh, from scratch you don't want to be buying the already customized one you want to be making your own customized front uh, please check my profile sorry check my channel i will probably link the that particular video in the description of this particular one i showed where i customized this front uh, from scratch and how i was able to mark my perfect hairline so this is still the same frontal in that particular video i told you guys i'm equally going to show you how you can vent it this particular frontal is for baby girls okay i want to use it to do a braided wig for a baby girl it's actually that is um 10 by 5 frontal but you can equally use this process to vent 13 by 6 13 by 4 any size of frontal okay 13 by 8 anyone so when i come to the holes now i'll be i'll skip two holes i mean when i vent it if you are looking at it you will see one full hole like i said each demarcation is a hole so i'll skip the first one okay and then i will vent on the second one which means i'm leaving one full hole in between this is the one line two holes pattern 
okay or oh, this is the one line two holes pattern i'm skipping to two holes and when you look at it you will see a full like one full complete hole in between the lines so with this now i've already created a guide this is actually what will guide me to vent um the whole frontal okay with this now i can go by my left or go to my right so this is how far i have gone guys i've done this part like i've vented my hairline but don't worry i'm going to show you guys how you can vent through your hairline okay so guys if you know you are finding any value from this video please consider subscribing turn on notification bell so that anytime i upload videos you will get notified i make videos on ventilation braiding making of wigs hair maintenance different hairstyles so just subscribe okay give you a thumbs up like this video if you have any question let me know in the comment section if you want me to make video on see let me know in the comment section so this is the same process i'm doing i'm venting on a line i skip a line so these are to come to your holes like each demarcation is a hole then these are lines each vertical line is a line so i'm venting on a line i skip a line then for the hole i vent on a hole then i skip one complete hole and vent on the next one this is the easiest way you can understand what i'm trying to do but it's the one line two holes pattern of ventilation okay when i vent on a particular hole i skip one complete hole then vent on the next one okay you can still do one line one hole without skipping i'm um, skipping just the hole okay i'll still link um link the video there's a video I made where I actually showed you guys how you can vent a 13 by 6 frontal from beginning to end. In that particular video, I made use of the one line one hole spacing pattern. But this particular one, I'm using the one line two holes. Okay, so that's the difference. So when you get to your hairline now, when you get to the front, like half an inch to your hairline, Try to pick just a strand of hair. Do not pick more than one because you are working with spreading hair. So pick just one and follow through your hairline. The hairline, either you use the one you customize yourself or the one you get from the market. Any which one, but just follow through your hairline and do not pick more than one strand of hair. Okay. So guys, if you know that you are finding any value from this video, please consider subscribing, like this video, please share this video. If you have anybody that is looking for this particular video, please share, comment. If you have questions, let me know in the comment section, okay? So I'm just keeping one complete hole, which is the two holes, okay? when you count it normally how holes are being counted but when you look at it you see one complete hole in between the lines then for the line i'm skipping one line okay there are different ways you can vent a front pack so this particular one is another way of doing that so for the holes i'll skip the first demarcation skip the second one then i'll vent the third one it means i'm skipping two holes okay then for the line i skip one line so guys if you know you found any value from this video please subscribe i have a video that will be coming up soon on how you can actually attach baby hairs to your wig i've gotten a question when someone was asking me that so this is the final look when i'm done so guys with this now you can just attach it on your wig cap and then use it and do any kind of style i mean any kind of braided wig style that you want thank you guys for watching and see you guys in my next video bye